All right, guys, what's up? So, I don't know if many of you have heard, but I'm actually training a different style today. Well, for the past week I have been. Basically, ever since my work schedule has been very uh, conflictive on training, I don't have as much time to train anymore for strength. So now I'm starting to switch over to more of a, I would say like bodybuilding type training style, still have strength incorporated into it. My main three lifts of squat, bench, and deadlift are still present throughout my workout, but I'm not focusing on them as much anymore. Now, this is only gonna be for a short period of time. I don't know how long this is going to be exactly, but I know I'm coming back to strength eventually because I don't wanna to stick to this, and I'm trying, uh, trying to um, appreciate a different type of, type of training style. And I feel like I've fallen off my bro side, my bodybuilding side. <laughs> so, I mean, it's fun. I'm coming back into it, and I'm hoping to put on a little size through it. And hopefully when I get back to strength training, I'll be back with a good regimen and I'll be getting stronger again because my training is really starting to plateau a lot. And uh, it's been really difficult and like I haven't been able to eat a lot. Like everything's kind of been a little difficult right now. But uh, hopefully after like maybe two or three months of working with this, I can come back into strength a lot better and a lot stronger. So basically I'm gonna work up to a seven by three. Uh, I believe I'm gonna go about to 455, something like that. This is gonna be my strength, or I'm out of breath right now. This is gonna be more of my strength oriented part of my training. After the seven by three, you're gonna see a lot of little fun stuff. After this set, I'm going to start my 7x3. I just worked up with 135, 225, 315, uh, all sets of five. So I feel good now, just stretched. So we're going to start the workout. Would you just put some deaspartic acid on your hands? Is that why you got it? Huh? Bar's starting to slip out of my hand, dude. What's up, Jamie Lannister? What's up? I don't know who that is. Cause you don't watch the greatest show on television, that's why. How are you doing Game of Thrones, you motherfucker? Jack it up. What's that is it? This is set number three. I still got a lot more to go, so I don't know if I should up it. I think I could up it like 10 more pounds and still be We'll see how the set looks. Yeah. Progressive overload. I think it feels good. I think I'm up in it. 475? Yup. Good shit.
drinking Gatorade during your workout, if you ever get like hungry or you feel tired, things like that, drinking like something with uh, calories, carbs in it, intro workout carbs, yeah, that's what it is. intro workout carbs. If you ever um, drink Gatorade throughout your workout, actually, I feel like helps me out a little bit because I get really hungry like during my workouts, after my workouts, and I don't know about you guys if that really does happen a lot, but um, for, sure, for sure for me. So I, like, I try to drink like two or three, eh, two, two Gatorades throughout my workout. And it also like kind of keeps me energized and like gives me calories throughout my workout. Um, and definitely a good way to help limit a little bit of calorie burning. I do condone drinking water throughout your workout, but um, try to incorporate one or two Gatorade bottles or something with calories and it doesn't have to be Gatorade. There's nothing too satiating to where you feel like you'll throw up. But like sipping on a Gatorade for two hour duration I'm here, helps me out a lot. You hope you too. How do you feel that on your bro split? This is the strongest you've ever That's been on crazy. deadlift. After a bro split, right. I get stronger on deadlift. <laughs> so I'm gonna hit this for a four by ten, and uh, probably keep it around here. I'm like having like a decent workout right now. Like I'm not super psyched up. I didn't really take much pre-workout, but um, everything feels good. And I don't know. I kind of wanted to say stuff and I lost it. If I look small right now, so I'm showing you. I don't, I, don't, I don't know about these delts, Quinn. They're looking pretty fucking big. Do the delts look illegal? The biceps don't. Should I shake my armpits? That'd be aesthetic. Jeff side. <laughs> Now right here we're just getting done the accessories. Uh, probably only be like 35 more minutes, but that's that. 35 minutes? Yeah. Are you out of your mind? I started out I probably was only curling this with 15s a couple weeks later I'll do 20s and I wouldn't be able to complete it I probably would get like eight eight reps something like that my goal was a 4x10 I'd probably get like maybe one set of 10 a couple sets of like six eight etc but I keep pushing that weight progressively overload myself until I can get it once I'm consistent with the weight that I was aiming for I increase there again and work up all right guys so that's a wrap for today um, as you can see, I'll, I'll put up my program in the description. I can do that, right? Your little bro split, yeah. Yeah, my little bro split. If you guys are interested, I'm not saying it's anything special, but if you're interested in following a program that I run for my bro split, I mean, go for it. But I do recommend always consistently training strength.
no matter what before you get to this point. So if you do feel you're experienced enough with your strength and you'd like a three month period of training, add a little size, have a little fun, whatever. <laughs> add a little size, have a little fun, whatever. But uh, that's it and I'll catch you guys next time.